Thank Hades, this wretched Christmas season is almost over. <sighs> Scrooge has nothing on me when it comes to hating Christmas. And this year's been even worse than usual. With my relatives dropping in. And then Dora conjuring Santa and company out of the TV and almost burning the place down trying to get rid of all these horrid Christmas decorations those brats put up. Well, she's sleeping now. So she won't be stirring up any more trouble. <laughs> hmm, I think I'm going to kick back and enjoy a peaceful silent night. Normie Claus is here to bury the hatchet in Tabitha. Oh, God. Oh. I still can't believe you're walking. That's incredible. Merry Christmas, Sam. I'm so glad you're walking again. You know, I, I blame myself for you being paralyzed in the first place. If you hadn't tried to help me save Sam. the kid... No, it's not your fault. I was struck by lightning. Still, I'll always be grateful to you, Ivy. And I to you for taking me in when I had nowhere else to go. I was glad to. You mean, you mean a lot to me, Ivy. You always have. You always will. You know how I feel about you. Grace. Looks like Ivy got her wish. Yes. I'm walking again. That's not what I meant. Take little Ethan away from Teresa now. No. I will not have a scene here in church. It's Christmas. The boy belongs with his mother. Okay, okay, fine. But as soon as Christmas is over, I'm going to make sure that Teresa is never around your son again. Thanks for not doing anything to keep little Ethan away from his mother at Christmas. By wanting them together, it's, it's not about Teresa, Gwen. It's about... The lethal child should not be apart from his mother at a special time like this. But Sarah is. Our little girl is dead. Is everything okay? Uh, well, I may have to go and check on Sheridan shortly. Sheridan's here? Oh, that's a long story, honey. But she's back there in the vestibule just having a moment alone. Poor thing, she's been through so much. Losing her baby and then convincing herself that Beth and Louise's baby is hers. the shower and you and my baby and precious were gone i'm trying to keep sheridan's baby from dying how so you you took him to the church all right just keep him there i'm gonna come get my baby right now oh no missy <laughs> you are coming to get the shock of your life <laughs> What happened? 
Last time I saw Sheridan, she was in the psych ward. Sheridan with the baby. Oh my God, the joy and the love. It's a gift straight from God. I would hold the hand of the one who could lead me places and kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet. My favorite Christmas movie, North Pole Chainsaw Massacre. Who's crazy enough to bother me at this time of night? I'm coming! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Sorry, you have the wrong house. I don't believe in Santa. It's time to start! I beg your pardon? You can beg all you want! It's time to deck some halls with your blood and guts! I... I... I don't believe it. It's... It is! Norma's back and ready to heck! Ah! Do something and fast, or well, that psycho's gonna kill me. He's so hungry. <laughs> I cannot believe it. The baby is finally feeding. Would you go get Dr. Russell and let her know, please? Sure, ma'am. She even looks so happy. Yeah, we can't let anything change that. Whether for her sake or for the babies. That's all I've ever wanted for Sheridan to be happy. Look, <laughs> Reese. He's fine now. Everything's going to be fine. Isn't it, sweetheart? Sheridan, you... You look so content, so happy. It just feels so natural. It's all right. I think it's the way it's supposed to be. Sheridan instinctively knows that that baby is hers. And that baby instinctively knows that she is his mama. And Beth can try as long and as hard as she wants, but nothing is going to destroy that bond that Sheridan has with that baby. Tells me the baby's nursing. Yeah. Uh, guys, give me a few minutes. I want to check him out while he's feeding. Oh, you're so hungry. Yes, you. Oh, you were. But you're all right now. I'm going to make sure that you are taken care of. I should have taken care of Sheridan a long time ago. Okay, better late than. of you for every play this happened in the first place. I came here to 
pray for a miracle, and I got it in the form of Sheridan herself. She is saving that baby. So you, Missy, you leave her alone. Shut up, or Thomas Beckett won't be the only one to die in a cathedral. Look at them. Look how close they are. You cannot break a bond that deep, no matter how hard you try, Missy. You watch me. There. This should keep that axe-wielding fiend at bay. Ready or not, here I go! I'm feeling strong, I'll give her that. But she was no match for my newly restored powers. Ah! Oh! Oh! oh. Ooh. Ooh. Moving in for the kill makes me feel warm and tingly all over. <laughs> Deck the halls with chopped up tabby. Fa la 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 la. Pandora! Pandora! Wake up! Wake up! Mommy needs your help! I used up all my powers putting out the fires you started! Endora! Wake up! Help me get rid of Nutso Norma! Oh. Oh, this is the one time I wish you weren't sleeping! To conclude our celebration tonight, I would like to end with the beautiful Christmas novena. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment at which the Son of God was born, of a most pure virgin at a stable at midnight in Bethlehem, in the piercing cold. At that hour, vouchsafe, I beseech you, to hear our prayers and grant our desires for peace on earth, goodwill toward men. Through Jesus Christ and his most blessed mother. Amen. Amen. Remember I said Rebecca hands on us. All right. I won't do anything now, but first thing in the morning, your son is coming back to the mansion. Just stay. Ethan! Hey, hi, buddy. Merry Christmas to you. Um, little Ethan and I are going to have a very happy holiday thanks to Whitney and Fox. Fox was there for little Ethan and me. He helped me get my son back. He didn't turn his back on us like you did. Merry Christmas. You bitch. Gwen, we're in church. You're right, you're right. Anyway, God knows what Teresa is. But what I don't know, honey, and what I don't understand is why you didn't tell her that if it weren't for you, she wouldn't be with her son. Right now. It's best if she, uh, if she hates me right now. It's best for all of us. Hey, I asked John and Simone to come back to my house for dessert. You'll come too, won't you? Well, of course, my sweet. But isn't it a little late for company? The truth is, I don't want to be alone. Mom and Kay are gone. Noah's so upset with Mom for choosing David over Dad that he's not coming home again this year. Christmas is going to be really hard. Don't worry. You're not alone. Your cuddle bear's here for you. <sighs> Thanks, cuddle bear. 
David, I'm sorry for wanting to leave so soon. And... Oh, Grace, it's okay. I know it must have hurt you to see Sam and Ivy together. Yeah, it did. I mean, but it shouldn't, but... How could it not? I mean, Sam's been your life for over 20 years. You have a family together. You have children you love and adore. I, I think you and Sam and the kids, um, you know, need more time to fully come to terms with your decision to be with John and me. I, I promised you that I would never push you. And I never will. So just, you know, take as much time as you need and, and know that I'll always be here for you. Thank you, David. You're... You're very understanding. Well, it's easy when I... When I love you so much as I do. True, right? Sheridan's nursing, my baby's really feeding. Yeah, Louise. Sheridan oh. is nursing your baby, and your baby is taking it in. How is this possible? Miss Sheridan nursing. Well, sometimes it can take a woman a while to stop producing milk after childbirth. Sheridan's still lactating, which is why she can still nurse. And that's okay. Physically, yes. And what about emotionally? For now, yes. I mean, look at her. Sheridan's transformed. Well, she's Sheridan again. She's happy and she's at peace. Nursing this baby has brought Sheridan some incredible joy. And it's not only good for her, it's good for the baby as well. In fact, Sheridan nursing her baby may very well be the thing that saves his life. Check it out. Uh, I'll, I'll go with you. Okay. Ivy's walking. It's a miracle. Ah, uh, you bet it is. I mean, her butt had gotten so big from sitting in that wheelchair, I thought she'd get stuck. You're all heart, my pet. Oh, Pookie, no. I'm happy for Ivy. I really am. It's just poor Sam Bennett. He has no idea what he's in for now that Ivy can slither on her own again. <laughs> Come on, Ace. Let's go. I'm not exaggerating. Sheridan nursing your baby could save his life. God heard our prayers. For my son and Sheridan. <laughs> I'm really glad both of them are doing better. I really am. Yes, Miguel. God answered our prayers. Laura's right. All our prayers have been answered. Beth, she 
Sheridan has saved our baby's life. reindeer on the roof when we were coming in. So, why don't you go see if Santa was here, okay? Go check it out. Uh, I know it's, um, it's really late, but I want to spend every second that I can with my son, you know? Mommy, uh, Santa was here! Uh, <laughs> well, that shouldn't be a problem. I don't think he's going to sleep much now anyway, right? Right. <laughs> you are so right. Santa was here. Well, good. Now that he was here, I guess it's safe to start a fire in the fireplace. Yeah, that's a great idea. Absolutely. Hey, 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 how about I put him to Christmas music? Yes! I love you, sweetheart. right now. I mean, I, I just don't have the heart to burst her bubble. No, I know it. I know, you know, we'll just, just let her enjoy the little time she's left with the little guy, okay? okay. <laughs> The birth of our Savior is cause for celebration in all creatures, great and small. God bless you, precious. God bless you and keep you. I don't need the Grinch to steal Christmas, I have Rebecca. You. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Oh, I'm not really. I'm just. I'm thinking about our. about our son. Just wondering where he is and. if he's well and happy and loved. I hope the same thing. Well, it would be a miracle if we found him, but. Miracles do happen. Sheridan is in there right now, nursing Louise and Beth's baby. What? Why? Oh, well, the baby was malnourished and dehydrated. It couldn't absorb formula, and Beth couldn't nurse, and Sheridan can, so... Well, Sheridan's saving the baby's life, and in a sense, she's saving her own at the same time. That's incredible. I'm, I'm truly at a loss for words. Well, 
Miracles tend to do that to us. And they also they give us hope. As I was hoping that maybe we'd have our own Christmas miracle and we'd find our little boy. I promise you, you'll have that miracle. As God is my witness, I will find our son in the coming year, no matter what it takes. No, oh, Joe. here now. Mommy's gonna make sure that you are happy, healthy, and strong. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear Luis's baby's okay. Me too. I was really worried. Okay. What's wrong? It's just such a miracle. I mean... Just like the miracle that saved our baby's life. I can't imagine if anything happened to Maria. If we would have lost her, this would have been such a sad, bleak Christmas. But it isn't, okay? Maria's fine, you know? And now we're gonna have our first Christmas together with our baby. Our first Christmas with, with our baby. Glad to see Sheridan so happy. Me too. We've both been so worried about her. I'd love to go over and say hi, but I don't want to interrupt this special moment. Honey, I want to go light a candle and say a prayer for Sarah. dropped it when Teresa took him home. He loves this bear. <laughs> Mom is the word. Right, Beth? I mean, you certainly can't be raising this stink about Sheridan nursing that baby when it is the very thing that's gonna save that baby's life. Shut up. You listen up. needs its mother's milk to live. You were killing him. Sheridan gave him life. Now she's gonna save his life, not you. Dear mother, I said shut up. Do you want that baby to die? No. Of course not. I really do love that baby. And I want him to be okay. I want him to live. Then you get over yourself. You deal with what is happening. Don't be glad about it. Could you please be glad about it? Look, Sheridan has given that baby. It's one chance it has at life. I know. But look at them. She's bonding with the baby. You can't. Look, Beth. Look. We are seeing God's Christmas gift to Sheridan, Louise, and that baby. Bonding them closer together as the family they really are. that needs chopping, I'll even pay you! Forget it! Oh. I've got a long time to do you in, and then I'm gonna do you! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna 
savor every bit of us. Or should I say, every bit of you. After I chop you to pieces! Oh, oh and Dora! Help me! Wake up! No one can help you now, Tabitha. Go in pieces. Ah! Ah! What the? Ah! Seeing Santa <clears throat> flying up in the sky over Tavitha's house just now. I didn't see that. Did you? I didn't see a thing. So this conversation never happened, did it? What conversation? Okay. So we agree then, right? We're not going to uh, bring Teresa down or risk her flipping out by telling her that my loving father is probably going to come over and take little Ethan as soon as Christmas is over, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. But you know what? Why don't I go make us some hot chocolate? Because I don't think Teresa's going to want to go to bed anytime soon. All right. Sound good? Yeah. <sighs> it's getting kind of hot in here. I'll let in some fresh air. What, what you did, giving me my son back for Christmas, has uh, made this the best one ever. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what I would do without you. You've been such an incredible help to me. You know what, you and little Ethan are really important to me, so I just want to make sure you two are happy. You know, um, I thought that Ethan cared about me, but I was wrong. I'm never going to forgive him for um, turning his back on me and little Ethan like this. I wonder where Ethan disappeared to. Well, maybe he won't. I mean, can you imagine giving the help the night off just because it's Christmas Eve? I mean, the next thing you know, he's going to give them a pay raise so they make minimum wage. I mean, what's wrong with my pookie, Gwen? I mean, he's just gone so soft. Well, one thing he's not going to go soft on is getting complete and permanent custody of little Ethan. I said a special prayer for Sarah tonight to let her know how much I love her and miss her. Oh, honey. Oh, it breaks my heart that Teresa is here with little Ethan for Christmas and all you have is a hole in your heart because that girl caused you to lose your baby, the little witch. Well, look, I'm not happy that Teresa has little Ethan for the holiday either. But I certainly didn't want to look like a monster to Ethan by keeping his godson from having a day with his mother. Mom, little Ethan should not have to suffer because of Teresa. Well, all I care about is that Teresa pay for the hell she's put you through. And pay she will. I am going to make sure that she never sees her son again. Consider it a Christmas present for us both.
Never. Because Louise and that baby, they belong to me. And no one, especially Sharon, is ever going to take them from me. <laughs> Looks to me, Missy, you're too late for that. With Ethan on our side, Teresa doesn't have a chance in hell of keeping that child. Oh, I think she's ill. What? What's wrong with my baby? Just hope that Sheridan can take it when she finds out that that baby's really best.